Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines already chanting, Go Blue. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Wolverines will kick this away to start us off. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So Ohio State's offense has the football first here today. And here we go. Wolverines and Buckeyes. Everything that's gone into this game for 365 days is about to play out right now. And there's just something right, right? When you look out on that field and you see the colors on the field competing against each other. Maize and blue and scarlet and gray. Let's see what happens. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Well, it's a game of matchups. Always has been and always will be, especially on the perimeter. And the quarterback believes his guy is better than their guy. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The tight end drag route is the perfect option for an offense, looking to scheme that position open for some yardage. Perfect execution here for a first down. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Oh, what a cut. Still going. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. The Buckeyes with first and ten here. Back's got it again. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. Well, for many, this is the quintessential college football rival. It combines tradition, high intensity, and very often, high stakes. Yeah, Chris, I really think the rivalry has changed over the years. I, you know, guys in my era would tell you it was a game that was the most heated, but the most respected because of the way you were recruited by both schools. There was the Woody, there was the Bo influence on the rivalry. But I think in the new social media era, I think it's more about hatred for the two schools from both sides. It's just a different feel. We'll feel that today when these teams go at it. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. And he's got it. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. That's exactly what you want to see here from this offense. A big third down conversion. Offensive line did their job, giving a quarterback enough time. Great read, good execution, throws the ball accurately. And now you got some momentum going here on this opening drive. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's got it. Already past the first down marker. Tackle made after a big game. Here early in the game, the defense right away realizes what they're up against. Having an opportunity to move this receiver around, to give him a chance to get out in space, are the plays that can really cause a defensive coordinator headaches. Buckeyes hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. First down, looking to throw the ball. Pass caught. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the floor. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Looking for a gap, it's Henderson. And he runs it into the end zone. 
Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, the script from the offensive coordinator works perfectly here to get this game started for this offense. Great job of mixing up a lot of different looks to get a read and a gauge of what this defense is up to today. And you're able to put six points up on the board. Great start. And now here comes the point after attempt. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. So the Michigan Wolverines offense comes out for their first possession today. And here we go, the other half of this running back matchup we've been looking forward to where both guys come in rested, fresh, and very motivated. How great is this, Chris? Usually in this era, it's about the quarterbacks and the receivers and getting the ball out in space. And in this matchup, we got two of the best running backs in the country going head-to-head. -head. You recall the last time they played, the Wolverines won a very close game. That has not been forgotten in Columbus for a single minute since then. No, and if I remember right, it was the Michigan defense that really stepped up and prevailed and led them to a close victory the last time out. Let's see what happens today if the Buckeyes offense can make the adjustments. The junior able to bring him down quickly. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. And they pick up the first on the ground. And they'll stop him just short of the marker. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Well, the running back comes up a little bit short of the first down. Big decision here for this offense because they are down a touchdown here early in the game. They don't want to dig themselves too big of a potential hole. The Wolverines will bring their punt team onto the field. So on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Makes the grab. It's Judkins. And he's tackled after the catch. And they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down at this, a sense that they wanted a little bit more of them. Pass complete. It's second down now. And they'll use the ground game here. Good enough for the first down with a 37. You know, Chris, what a great run here. And you think about Ohio State, you think lately about those NFL-ready wide receivers. But we all know it starts with their running games, all those great backs they've had over the years. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? It's a quarterback keeper. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What a great job of playing assignment football here against the option by this defense. Every aspect of that play was taken away. The quarterback got into desperation mode and loses yards. Now they're behind the sticks. Offense getting set. It's second down. They'll give it to the back. A change of direction. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to throw. It's Howard. Fires it to the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. An explosive play. Big gain across midfield to the 42. And that's good enough.
Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. up enough yardage for a first down receiver in motion now on first and ten they'll look to throw it here's a screen pass to the running back and the tackle is made the screen pass there produces a solid game good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator and a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play the completion makes it second down quarterback keeps the football the Buckeyes keep the football on the move it almost is like the quarterback just said to himself I've got this I'm gonna find a way to pick up this first down he gets the first and keep the chains moving Buckeyes begin a new series here first and ten and the wideout goes in motion here comes a first down pass attempt Pulls it in. It's Tate. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Yeah, you know this defense is going to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. The Buckeyes are looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Hand off to the right side. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs, and especially corners, that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play in that corner. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Intercepted right near the end zone. What a play. Not much on the return, but the defense comes up with a takeaway. And this is a big-time play by this linebacker showing his versatility. We know he can stop the run, but in zone defense with cover two, he's got an area he's got to be able to defend, and it's exactly what he did. And I don't know if the quarterback even saw him or knew that he was capable of making a play like that. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Here's the handoff. Oh, what a move. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. That wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the tailback's got it again. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. And the rule of the range pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Here's a great example of a back knowing where he needed to go on this play, and he didn't mess around. He got between the tackles and earned every single yard. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. They're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. 
The back's got it. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. So two losses in a row puts him in a tough spot. Third and very long. To the air. It's Orgy. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force this fourth down. Great job here by the D. The Wolverines will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Nice, solid run here by this back. Ooh, nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and 10. Game makes it second and medium. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Play action fake, looking to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. Caught over the middle, it's Scott. Finally brought down to the 13-yard line. An enormous game puts him in great scoring position. You know, a lot of times college quarterbacks that are more comfortable working to the side. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. The Buckeyes getting set on first and ten. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. He's escaping the ball. He's taken down behind the line. He's going to lose a yard or two. A lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it, and they get the sack. The offense will look to regroup here at second and 11. Looking to throw. It's Howard bringing pressure. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Touchdown, Ohio State. Number 17. All today in the end So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The kick sails through, so the lead is 14 0. That makes the score Ohio State 14. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Backed up this close to the end zone in the final minute. Let's see if they just decide to take care of the football and look toward the second half. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment. But here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. 
Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Loveland. The timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Trying to extend the play. Slides to avoid the big hit. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back to pass. It's Orgy. Fires it to the wideout. He's a wide open receiver complete. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. The offense will now quickly spend the timeout. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Using and he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Going the other way, can they catch him? He's marked out of bounds after an excellent game, but there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. The defensive penalty is declined. Offense very happy to take the result of that play. Takes the handoff. It's Judkins. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, whether it's in the shoe or the big house, when you have these two programs with all that's at stake today, you know emotions run high in a game known simply as the game. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Ohio State plays out. Buckeyes will kick this away to begin the second half. Return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. A game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Well, the defense coordinator this week already telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Dropping back. They get a throw for the first down. Short connection to the tight end here. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, They've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. The Wolverines will have first and ten here. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. A game makes it second and medium.
Handoff running right. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down at the 47. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. To get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. And the Wolverines pick up enough for a first down here. Single back takes the handoff. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to pass this time. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And he shoved out of bounds to the defense short of the first down marker. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. He's moving out of the pocket now. Slides down to avoid the tackle. This could be a turning point in this football game. Defense does a good job. It's third down. They've got to get after this quarterback. And instead, he pulls it down and picks up big yards for a first down. Kind of feel the momentum flipping here. Still looking for that elusive touchdown. But finally, this offense is moving. First down and 10. The shotgun handoff here. And tackled after a small pickup there. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. If I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with them. Second down play coming up for this offense. On the run, it's Edwards. And they'll stop him after a short game. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Back to throw. It's Orgy. He bought some time, now lets it go. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. The Wolverines looking to cash in this red zone trip. Trying to run it. It's Edwards. Breaks the tackle to get back to line scrimmage, but that's it. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. He'll drop back here on third down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. The defense stops him short of the marker in that screen. Fourth down coming up. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. 
The offense trailing here in the second half. This is a crucial fourth down try. Will hand it off. And they stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Well, these are the kind of situations you practice every week. You got to be able to get a yard. And the offensive line was able to give them just enough push to convert here on the ground. Clearly, they've done this drill before countless times, and it shows. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, Wolverines. Can you say methodical? A marathon monster for just pounding away and wearing down that defense. They just kept moving the sticks and moving the sticks until they got into the red zone, and they just kept moving the sticks until they got into the end zone. What a drive. Now the important point after attempt. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And then will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. They start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. Ball carrier brought down what is the final play of this third quarter. Well, Kirk, Ohio State has the lead here after one, sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's check out the game stats so far. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? They're going to run it. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Chris, at least there's some positive yards there from this run game. It hasn't been pretty today. It's really, to me, kept them out of finding any kind of offensive rhythm. Now, they have the lead, but it's despite this offense not necessarily having their best day. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. They make the stop just short of the first. Looks like inches to go, and now fourth down. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional, and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. And fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner elects to fair catch it, no return. And the Michigan offense back out on the field, trying to build on a beautiful, balanced touchdown try last time they had it. And he's brought down after a short game does not make the first down yardage. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Running back with the football. Bites off a defender. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. But I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Dropping back. It's Orgy. Goes to the sideline. Steps out after a short game. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. The Wolverines will bring their punt team on the field now. And the returner decides to single fair catch. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And 
this defense can fly to the football as a group. That's great team pursuit. The quarterback a little unsure on whether he should keep it or pitch it, and the defense makes him pay for that with their speed. You're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. And it's complete downfield. And he goes down after a solid gain on the play. That's enough for a fresh set of downs for this offense. Well, I think the offense lulled the defense to sleep here. Do you think that they're just working the clock here and running the football? And then they throw and surprise you and get some positive yards downfield just to keep this defense honest. And they'll run it out of the shotgun, running through the tackle. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Second down, we're going to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Tate. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to the 44. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. The Buckeyes look to keep this drive moving. First down. They're going to throw the football. It's caught downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock. But these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Kibi decides to keep it here. In the clear at the 25. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down, and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. The Buckeyes will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Looking downfield, it's Howard looking to scramble. The tackle is made, the defense saying, not this time. They got burned in the scramble last time. They bring him down pretty quickly here. This is really good pressure applied by the defense. They force him out to his left, but with nobody home, he decides to tuck it and go. He's able to turn it into a nice short game. Second down here, time for one more play before the two-minute warning. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds of closing this game out. And they'll set up for the PA2. Extra point up and good. A two touchdown lead here now in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick 
three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Caught over the middle. It's Moore. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. And he'll set up to throw. With the catch, it's Edwards. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield with the 48. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. And looking to throw now on first down. He'll take a deep shot. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. you got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Incompletion sets up a second down. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Wow, back-to-back -back deep shots. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. It's a short completion of the tight end. Defense wraps him up after a six-yard gain. Brings up fourth down. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. It's a short completion of the big tight end. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. And the Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point, cover an onside kick. You never know. Extra point try coming now. PAT is good. They still trail though. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seen able to make the crucial recovery. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration.